So now we have a different dog here that's going to bark at us. And we're behind the camera person now, but we're going to walk into the shot. And I have Goose who's on free time. And this is a barking dog. Of course, Goose saw the dog barking from across the yard. Come. So you're always going to do this, even if you think Goose is, oh, Goose is pretty cool, that dog. Don't just let it happen. You have to make sure you do your moves to make sure that she never relapses and starts doing the, the crazy fence fighting that we've all seen her do in the past. But as you can see, she's got a dog that's not necessarily great with other dogs, who's barking at her, and she's, she wants to turn away from the dog. And it's because uh, we've had her here for a while and we practice this where we have all kinds of dogs at fence lines and we practice calling her away from any dog at the fence line so she won't, she won't even face the dog. Come! So I have to actually get her to come over here. And we got this other dog. Look at that. Come! She goes up and sniffs. Don't even let that happen at first. If you want her to be whatever about a dog at a fence line, even if it's barking like this, you need to just pretend like Goose is always going to have a problem. So I started with raw material when I just got Goose, and I just practice this every day along with her other training. And you see where we've gotten to where she not only doesn't react to a barking dog, she ignores that dog. And the only thing you have to remember is come. Good. Play your recall game in the presence of the barking dog. Come. Good.